What's up guys, Cut Protagonist here. Do you have a Kai Legend deck? Do you want to learn how to play? And do you want to go inside the mind of Cut Protagonist? You have come to the right video because today we will be playing the Kai Legend deck unmodified. Uh, unmodified version in Cut Fight area. So yeah, I'm sure that many of the viewers has been asking me what's the best deck to get and I recommend you the Kai Legend deck. And most of you guys probably say, hmm, I don't believe you cut protagonist because it is just a legend deck. And do you really think you can win this like that? Today, I will prove it to you that even if you don't win, you can perform well by teaching you how you can play the legend deck. So yeah, let us begin our exciting adventure into Cutified Area, shall we? Alright, so I'm going to go through a deck profile. Do not need to worry because it is exactly the same as an unmodified one. No sh... Um, I won't be using G Guardians as well because I'm that ballsy and no strike helpers. However, there's one change I want you guys to make in this deck profile because it is you'll be doing yourself a favor. So let us go on to the deck profile first. We have one copy of Lizard Hero Undus. He is a very very important card because he allows you to search for an extra Dragonic Overlord, which you need to discard for Dragonic Overlord the Ace, which is a which is your trump card in the deck. Alright, we're gonna go through the triggers. We have the standard heals, draws, and the 8 crits. All unmodified, so I'm not gonna be using Gatling Claws, to be fair. Because I'm sure you guys wanna watch me suffer by using a trial deck. It's, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna show you my skills, man. So yeah, next, uh, great ones. Two copies of Monica. Four normal perfect guards. Oh, this has an effect as well. When you use it, you can discard one and draw one. So it's a still it's still a great card. Now, four copies of... Conroll, a freaking amazing card. Four copies of um, Ta. Overall, the cards in the Kai Legend deck is very, very good. So, I won't count them out at, at, at all. So, it, um, basically, very little modification is needed to be done in Dragonic Overlord deck to make it strong. Uh, I have videos in my deck, in my YouTube channel, so be sure to check them out. Alright, let's go on to great, uh, great tools. Uh, three copies of Bar. A very good defensive card because it gives you additional 10k shields when you shuffle back um, flame dragon with three flame dragon this guy obviously gives you free retiring when your vanguard attacks and if your vanguard attacks twice you can come blast two to destroy two more destroy two so that's very good four copies of nahelm one of the best great tools in the game due to the fact that he is he just gains straight up 5000 when your vanguard attacks which is a great four all right let us go on to great trees all right this card is cancer please 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 take it out Alright, so I'm gonna take this card out. I'm gonna take the, the cards you can add for this uh, for this guy is very easy. Any Dragonic Overlord you can find at home. Uh, please note that you use this tutorial for your real life and not just like card fight online. Card fight online you have all the access cards. This is um, proof that this is just a budget. This is like kind of like a budget deck play. Yeah, budget deck play through. It's like an adventure. You join me adventure and play. So uh, what you can do is, I don't know if I can find that card. Here. Ah yes, you can play this uh, Spherical Lord Dragon. It's from GBD7. It can... It's basically a Galahad for... Alfred Alfred 1 was... You can search your deck for an Alfred, but this is search your deck for an Overlord card. You can either use it, but I recommend you to go for the classic Dragonic Overlord just because... Where is it? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Dragonic Overlord. Dragonic. Yep, classic Dragonic Overlord. Just because he is able... Just because you require to discard Overlords for Dragonic Overlord the Ace. So the cheapest overlord we have here is Dragonic Overlord, I believe. Is yep. So even you could play any amount, you could play like Dragonic One uh, heck, I can just play one of each. Yeah, I can play yeah, Kaito Shiki, I have all the Dragonic Overlords. So yeah. That's very good. As long as you have the Dragonic in the name, just because of the um, Just because of the O the Dota. Uh, Dota doesn't need you but it needs uh, it requires you to discard an overlord, so yeah, that's why. Alright, let's go to Shrites. Two copy of Dota from the promo pack you have. I don't know whether the English one has or I haven't even opened this. Yeah, it has. It's, it's over here. It comes with it. Two copies. It's unmodified. So, four Le Express and two Vortex Desires. Vortex Desires is a great card. It's one of the best cards. Alright, so let's save deck and let us go on and play. Oh shit, this is um, Kyle Legend. Legend deck. Kai, okay, let's just call it Legend Deck Kai. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna connect right now. So my name will be What's Up Guys, cause it is a secret, cause so that no one will know that I'm What's Up Guys. 
Alright, so let's wait for our challenger. Point Breaker PT wish to play me. Let's play, bro. So I'm gonna record this. What deck is that? Kagero, is it? Yes, yeah, Kagero. This will be a very interesting game. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. I didn't miss great, so it's good. But what the, f what the f is this? So I'm definitely gonna mulligan some stuff. Wait, 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 dude, wait, wait, dude. T, T, because I'm a dragon. I go. Good luck. So, um, basically, what I realized about Vang uh, the card fight online is the community is actually very good. Nine out of ten players I fought with actually. Actually, wish me good luck and stuff. Oh my god, this is so much better than playing in real life. Yeah, sorry, guys, but yeah. So, end. So, yeah, it's quite, I'm quite surprised because there are a lot of friendly players out there. Mm, it's nice. I'm really. I really can't wait for Carpet Online like, to go NG. Be online. Oh, it's a, it's a Blade Master deck, so cool. So, this one. Okay, just do damage for me. So it's my turn, right face, stand and draw. So obviously I'm going to go on my offensive game once again. Offensive game. So... This one. Right o. I'll go to main face and I'll call skill. Let's get. So basically I will use um, Conroe skill. So search my deck for the legend. So that's why Conroe is really good because it makes the deck really consistent. And I'll discard one. So I'll discard, discard this card and add them both to my hand. So shuffle my deck. So after that, I'll go full on offense and attack. So battle phase, I'll attack. And I'm, I'm only using a legend deck, so it's okay. So I'll attack. So do you want a card? It's 10k. Alright, I think. And face. So some there's some good guarding skills early game by opponent. Very interesting build. Oh okay shit. Oh shit. Gonna use that. Okay. So he get link claws my starter and my starter's a goner. Good play, good play. That's why Gangan Claw is a very staple card in the deck because there are a lot of decks that. Um, this is how much. This will be. 10k, no pass out. 10k in MP, NP. Since it's only an 8k base. Alright. It's my turn. I will draw. So I'll write Dragonic. Oh, wait. Then I'll write Dragonic Overlord, the legend. <coughs> Skill. Blast one, so blast one. I'll put the perfect card into the drop zone so that I can trigger its skill later game. And I'll look at the top five cards of my deck for oopsie, um, this one here. Oh, damn it. Okay, got the legend. Oh my god, so many triggers out of it. So I add the legend, the legend to hand, the legend to hand. So this goes back to the deck since I've already chosen my one flame dragon. Haha, <laughs> yeah. So basically, I didn't have much choice yet. D, there's only one choice. So let's continue the game. I will go aggressive again, once again, calling all my stuff. Should I? Do I have a flame dragon drop zone? I don't have a great tree flame dragon. But I'm still gonna go aggressive because I'm an ass. So better face attack with the rear guard first. There'll be five k guard for him. So it's one damage. Oh, I have no booster. What a pity. So that's ten k two pass. Two pass. Okay. First check. Second check. All right. So attack that. There'll be ten k guard again. All right now, Anton. Righty. Stride. Nice caps. Stride! 
Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Sutherland deck. Damn, maybe I should do a deck profile on that, right? Hmm. Sutherland deck. Sounds fun. Um, so the stride is quite devastating because if he hits me, I'm pretty much gonna lose my field. So that's not very, not something to celebrate. So, uh oh. Okay. Vortex skill. So when attack hits, I retire two. So I can't guard MG that. So bye bye two units. Bye bye. Blade master deck. That was a blade master deck. So that's one damage for me. So choose two. One. Okay. So you enter. Right face. Stand and draw. Oh. That's that sucks. So I'm gonna discard Dragonic Overlord for stride. Open extra deck and I'm gonna you show you the power of my own medicine, Strido. Sure don't really need to do that one. Hmm. So it's boost if you boost uh flame dragon gives us 3k power. Might as well, otherwise I won't be able to hit him. Right, so back to face. Skill. So I'm gonna copy what he does and use his skill. So I'll take the vanguard. So do you guard? I don't think he got I think he will he won't guard if he doesn't have a perfect guard, that's for sure. G guard, where where, okay. So he's a G guardian. I wonder what it is. Mm -hmm. Probably screw. Oh, oh, not screw. That's fifteen. Because I have more regards than him, so that's twenty. Two, I think. Number of regards of four or less. Oh, it's four or less. Okay, twenty. So it's two pass. Okay, so first check. Draw a trigger. Um, should I? Oh mid draw one check yes true <laughs> true lul <laughs> Vanguard Luxek Yes now you guys you can now call card for days a Luxacker Oh shit you got triggered and no uh, it's only five K guard pathetic So there's only five K Oh, you didn't got that. That's uh, we probably wasted a lot of resources to got that. So I end my turn. Stride. Okay. Oh, he writes over Blade Master. Uh oh, oh, Titan. So I believe he's used Titan just now. So the key concept of Titan, why Titan is good now, because you can use Titans, you can use a Vortex to flip out Titan. Then the next strike you Titan, you can retire up two cards. So that's a freaking amazing combo. So Titan skill, sure. Count Blast one. So he flips up two Titan, so he retired one and two. Bye bye guys. Damn, I feel so alone. Thank God I have my perfect guard. Oh, I'm screwed. Blaze. Alright. So that will be... 2k is 5k guard. I'll guard that. Should I guard it? Yeah, I'll guard that. It's only 5k. Janat skill. Oh, okay. So this one I will definitely have to perfect guard because... I want to get my ass burned. Nobody wants to get their ass burned. To create a cash count. Skew. So this is um, draw a card and choose card. I, a mo skew. I don't know. I don't even know how to spell mo. So I'm, I can draw one, discard one. Yep. So. So end face, right face, stand and draw. Oh no, that's bad. Um. So I'll perform stride right now. Stride. Stride. So this time I will be going for my trump card. You went for a trump card, it's my turn. No, I don't even have okay, fuck that. So I'll use Lay Express because I do not have the overlord. Lay Express Skew. 
to free pumpkin leg press. Counter blast run right yes and you can blast run. So power here and here. This is intercept, so I'll just might as well just call this here. So let's go on the battle phase and attack your rearguard. So Lex press attacks and hope he has a lot of perfect guards in the hand. Yeah. Yes. Oh. GG. Right. So somehow it's a really short game, but this shows that the Kai Legend deck unmodified can really fight if you know how it, how it's played. So I hope you guys to enjoy today's uh, budget deck profile on Cut Fight Area Kai Legend deck. And I hope you guys can see the power of Kai Legend deck and do not underestimate it because it is a really, really good deck. I really recommend you guys who are starting off Cut Fight Vanguard to get the deck. Or uh, if you're not even playing, if you don't want to wish to spend money on the game, you could always try out Cut Fight Area. I might put a link in the description below for how to uh, the, uh, Cut Fight Areas uh, download link. So you guys can try cut by online and maybe we can face off one day if we are lucky. So I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed today's episode. Peace out and love you guys. Bye.